we're asked to solve the system of equations by graphing. When we graph two lines on the coordinate plane, three things can happen. Number one, there could be one point of intersection, and therefore there's one solution. Number two, the lines could be parallel and never intersect, and therefore there are no solutions. Or we can graph the two lines, and the two lines are identical or coincide. In that case, there's an infinite number of solutions. So let's begin by graphing 2x plus y equals 4. Let's go ahead and write this equation in slope-intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, and then we'll graph the line using the y-intercept or vertical intercept, as well as the slope. So beginning with 2x plus y equals 4, to solve for y, we subtract 2x on both sides. Simplifying. Simplifying on the left, 2x minus 2x is 0, which is why we subtract 2x on both sides. So now on the left, we just have y equals. On the right, we have 4 minus 2x, which I'm going to write as negative 2x plus 4, so the equation is in slope-intercept form. So now we know the slope m is equal to negative 2, the coefficient of x, which we'll write as negative 2 over 1. Whenever using slope to graph, we do want it to be in fraction form or a ratio because the slope is equal to the change of y over the change of x. And then b is equal to positive 4, and therefore the vertical or y-intercept is the ordered pair 0 comma 4. So now we plot the vertical intercept of 0 comma 4, which is here. And then from here we use the slope to find additional points. Again, because the slope is negative 2 over 1, where negative 2 is the change of y, sometimes referred to as the rise, and positive 1 is the change of x, sometimes referred to as the run. From the vertical intercept, we go down two units and right one. And we can do this over and over again. Down two, right one, down two, right one, down two, right one, and so on. Now if we wanted to go up instead of down, if the slope is equal to negative 2 over positive 1, that's equivalent to positive 2 over negative 1, which means if we go back to the vertical intercept, because the slope is positive 2 over negative 1, we would go up 2 and left 1, up 2 and left 1, and so on. Let's go ahead and sketch the line. And now let's graph the second line. Let's go ahead and do this in black, where x minus y is equal to 2. Now we could go ahead and solve this for y, but since the left side is x minus y, it'll be easier just to make a table of values to graph this line. So we'll go ahead and make a table of values. We just need to pick x and y so that x minus y is equal to 2. For example, if x is equal to 2, y would be equal to 0 since 2 minus 0 is 2. If x is 3, since 3 minus 1 is 2, y is 1. If x is 4, y would have to be 2 since 4 minus 2 is 2. Let's do this one more time. When x is 5, since 5 minus 3 is 2, y has to be 3. Let's go ahead and plot these points. 2 comma 0, 3 comma 1, 4 comma 2, 5 comma 3. But looking at these points, we can see the slope where the change of y over the change of x is going to be up 1, right 1. So if we want to, we can use that slope to find additional points. Up 1, right 1 up one, right one, up one, right one, which is equivalent to going down one and back one. Down one, back one, and so on. Let's go ahead and sketch the line. Notice how these two lines do intersect. The point of intersection represents the solution. So the ordered pair of this point of intersection gives us the solution, which we can see is two comma zero, which means the solution and an ordered pair is two comma zero, or we can also say x equals two, y equals zero. And before we go, let's verify these values do satisfy both equations. To do this for both equations, we substitute two for x and zero for y. Performing the substitution into the first equation gives us two times x, which is two, plus y, which is zero equals 4. Simplifying, we do have 4 equals 4, which is true. Verifying the ordered pair does satisfy the first equation. And now for the second equation, again, substituting 2 for x and 0 for y gives us 2 minus 0 equals 2, which is true. 2 equals 2. And therefore, once again, the ordered pair does satisfy the second equation, 
which verifies our solution is correct. x equals 2, y equals 0, we have one solution. I hope you found this helpful.